everyone Hello. thanks for clicking on this video we are big for big we're a band from the northeast of england and we usually make music but now we make youtube videos so today we're doing another installment of our series called in our ears if you've never watched our in our ears videos before it's basically just us talking about what we've listened to local non-local and um, new and old stuff um, let us know what you've been listening to over the past couple of months as well. So I'm going to go local first. Um, there's an artist called Georgia May. My favourite track from her is called Mood Days. I don't really listen to like that kind of, it's like kind it's of It's quite soul, different to what we would normally yeah, listen like to. Yeah, like really ways. chilled kind of soul stuff. I use it as a break between all of the sad or like pop punk stuff that I listen to. Palette <laughs> cleanser. Yeah, it's just like nice. And the, like our voice is just like really lovely. Like I think she's got smooth. a very classic voice. Yes. With Mood Days as well, with that one song, like a lot of, uh, like she draws a lot of our syllables out and it sounds just like in that voice, mm -hmm. like in such a classic voice, it just sounds really, really lovely. Go and check her out, Georgia May. Um, she also does loads of, like she describes herself on her Instagram as like a community singer, a community yes. musician and she does like loads of cool work in Newcastle. So. Speaking of, um, she's part of a group called Newism mm -hmm. and it is comprised of Georgia May, Phoebe, Frankie Joblin, Kate Bond, Fallu, I think I'm saying that right, F-A-L-L-U. Mm -hmm. So they have, uh, Newism stands for North East Women in Soul Music. Um, and they are starting to put like showcases on for other women who make the same kind of music. And it's really cool because I feel like that's something that the North East scene has been missing Definitely. for like a long yeah. time. Definitely. Yeah, to completely shift gears, um, I'll, it's not the only thing I've listened to this month. However. <laughs> it's almost the only thing I've listened to. I have listened to it an obscene amount. And like, I love this band anyway, and I've loved yeah. them since like the beginning of the pandemic. I found them and they're like genuinely one of my favourite bands. They're called Super American and the album is called Sup. If you are into your pop punk, I honestly couldn't recommend this album anymore. It was, it came just at the exact right time for me. Like I needed something like this to scream yeah. at the top of my lungs. The it's whole so album's good. only 25 minutes long. So that's why I've like listened to it so much. Rattle through it. It's just it. nameless it about. It doesn't feel that short to no. me. Unfortunately, they are based in New York, um, and because they are like a relatively small band, especially in a different country, like I don't know when I'll get to see them. I would go to like Europe. I would go. Yeah. I would literally, if as long as it wasn't far, like, to America, no. I would go like far to see them because they're honestly just amazing. But yeah, it's just ten out of ten. Definitely so far album of the year for me. Like I would <gasps> number one place. Number one place. Wow. It would be number one place. Oh, again, very, very different. Sad Girl, I was... Phoebe Bridges did a cover of That Funny Feeling by Bo Burnham. And I've not been okay since <laughs> since she did that. I don't even like Bo Burnham that much. Like, he's fine. Now, what, have you seen his special? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it I is good. It. A lot of his songs are, like, really catchy and stuff. And he, he is, like, an interesting person. But, like, his comedy is not really for yeah. me. Like, his stand-up's not for me. I saw live videos of it before she put it on Spotify. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then she just dropped it. Like, it was nothing. And, like... Just to me, it's not like it's not a Bo Burnham song anymore. Like that's her song, um, and I would pay my whole life. I would give her anything to Best see that child. live. Literally to see that live, I would do anything. So go and listen to that, but only if you're feeling stable. <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is an album by a local artist and um, it's from Hartlepool and it's called James Leonard Hewitson and me and Katie both love him like an embarrassing amount. <laughs> I have mentioned James in a video before in our very first Q&A video yeah. when someone asked us who our favourite local artists were, James was in my top three um, and that has only gotten more since then honestly we love local music anyway but it's not as often you get artists who release music and you're like that is like what i want to listen to yeah. anyway like mm -hmm. I, I could have found this 
from like strangers on the internet yeah. still want to listen to it. The album that he put out is called Only The Noise Will Save Me. He's also put out an EP called Commercial Vibe um, this year, which is also really cool. It's very like talking heads, very 80s, punky, staggered, like, I don't even really know how to describe it. It's got a very specific like attitude to it. And James is like a very specific kind of person yeah. as well. Like I didn't really get it until I saw it live. Yeah. And then I was like, all oh, right, okay. So yeah. if you are local, like he gigs a lot in the Northeast. So like definitely go and see him because that was what made, like I'd listened to him before, but I just didn't, I don't know. I didn't really connect with it that much. I saw it live and it is like being able to take the whole like vibe in and the energy and everything completely changed how I, listen to the rest of it his stuff quite a lot so. i think we've seen him like five times and that was like in the space of like three months or something because he's just so good what you come across is weird mm. because we go to like the same local gigs and like we're like such big fans of these people but like it when harry styles goes on tour when people follow him around the whole country of america <laughs> that's, that's not, not weird, weird. <laughs> but when we follow people around the northeast it's weird you know what i mean <laughs> So this next song I've listened to for a long time. This band, they're called San Cisco and I don't know any of their other songs. One of them. Yeah, I googled them the day before filming this video because I was like, I, I don't even know like who they're comprised of, what they look like or anything. I just love this one song. It's called When I Dream. It, to me, it makes me think of like when you're watching an indie movie and there's like mm -hmm. a montage and loads of like nice things are happening, but it's like there's some bad stuff that's gone on and it's making you feel some things and mm. um, that's what this song makes me think of i don't even know if they still make music i, j I just know that like this song is dead good and you might like how it did too. you find it me and ryan have a shared playlist Um, i don't know if he listens to them like he might know them more but he just put it on this playlist and that's why i only know that song there he is speak of the devil speak of the They're devil excellent. What? <laughs> you have plenty of excellent songs <laughs> So I love Carly Rae Jepsen. That's it. That's, That's the, the tweet. <laughs> and I never really get a very good reaction unless it's a very specific like group of people. Who doesn't like Carly like, Rae? Like people, because people only know like Call Me Maybe. Well, those people need to grow I know, the fuck literally, off. Like, I know. Obviously, Call Me Maybe is like a fine song. Yeah. Like it's okay. But when you listen to like some of the deep cuts of our album, like holy shit, she is so good she, she's got like quite interesting way of releasing stuff in that she will release an album and then instead of waiting to release another album she usually well for the last two releases she's done has put out like a whole another album like a of b-sides essentially but the b-sides are so good there's there's just too many good songs to fit on one album yeah so it's like a deluxe edition of yeah. an album basically but it's like a separate thing some of the songs on it i'm like how did that not make the album yeah <laughs> i don't know what i would take off the album to put these songs mm. on and obviously albums have to be a certain length yeah. you can't just go on and on and on <laughs> but i'm like how is this not on the like I, that is better than anything i could ever write <laughs> and it's on a it's a, a big side, side. This is like quite serious, like it's yeah. quite a serious pop song and then it's like, I'm just going to the start, to the start. From one pop princess to another. Yes. I've been listening a lot to Maisie Peters because she released that album, You Signed Up For This. I've listened to it like a couple of times all the way through, but the singles are what like really stand out for me. And Psycho, which was one of the singles, is just such a pop banger. Maisie is just like really likeable. All of our presence online is very like relatable. Um, even though she's literally signed to Ed Sheeran's label. So like, <laughs> our life is not relatable in the slightest. She just writes really good pop music. It's like just straight pop. The use of the word psycho is like, I don't know. But like in context, she's not like- It's not malicious. No, for that to be her debut album is unbelievable. Yeah, like insane. There's no filler on it at all, all killer, no filler. It's very Carly Rae. <laughs> So our lovely friend Sophia released her debut EP uh, last month, October was it? This month? Last month. I have no concept of time. The songs are just 
delightful so easy to listen to isn't yeah it? it is very easy listening there's just something like really pure and like innocent about Sophia and her writing my boyfriend Eddie is actually like a co-writer on a lot of the music and I think I always think you can tell when it's had every time and obviously it helps that like he's an amazing writer uh, but Sophia in our own right is like a class writer luckily like we both do music otherwise like, our paths just would never have crossed because no. we've just not really got like anything else that would bring us together i don't think but i'm so glad that it did um because i just love listening to our music she's got a really distinctive voice very taylor swift inspired very taylor swift she sounds exactly the same live and yeah. i got like our live performance our voice is like nothing else i've ever seen like yeah. she's very unique and very like she i've never heard her sing a wrong note no ever. it's she's, effortless yeah the whole thing is effortless i'm gonna send it to my mom because i know that she'll like it yeah it's just like the songs are very like warm yeah and comforting I like great the song. Bit my hometown my hometown <laughs> At some point this year, <laughs> we went to see All the Garland in Leeds and Clean Cook Kid were supporting and they were just like really impressive yeah. like and the amount of noise that they made just from being them two was like amazing and they released a new single like literally just a couple of weeks ago called Lewis Be Brave and they played it like um, towards the end of their set when we saw them. They explained that it was about their friend who had recently lost their mum. And when you listen to the lyrics, it's like it's very heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking. It's very, very personal, clearly. I'm sure it's like a huge comfort to like the person that this is about. I know that other people who have, I'm sure that they would find this song like really comforting because that sounds like really dark, which I mean, obviously it is, but like the way that they've written it, like the songwriting is just really clever. And I'm really excited because they've kind of said that they're like going into a new era and this is like part of it. And um, so it's really cool to think about like what they're going to do. Um, so for the last, since what day is it today, Tuesday, the last five days, um, I have been listening to Taylor Swift's re-release of Red for the entire time, the how, whole time. How dare that woman, how <laughs> the dare audacity. she. <laughs> that takes some, that takes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does, you're so right, <laughs> you're so right. A 10 minute version. Of arguably the best song on the album. The best breakup song of all time. Yeah. Ten minutes of ten it. Ten minutes of it. How long, how many times I've played it and it's ten minutes long. So it only takes six times to play it for an hour. So I must have played it. I've done that at least today. I, I'm not, I'm literally, I'm not even joking. I know that I have. She has us in a chokehold. <laughs> I listened to her all throughout my teenage years. Yeah. And like, I, I was like... But the fact that you felt that it had to be a secret is yeah. like tragic. But I, I mean, I think people just don't like women to like things. Yeah. Like they don't let women live. And now as an adult, I realise like I am a raging Swifty. Yeah. And I'm going to let everyone know. <laughs> you kept me like a secret. I kept, kept you, you like, like an oath. I was like, Taylor? <laughs> Miss Swift, I will. If I ever see Jake Gyllenhaal in the street, and I'd be like, you, I hope you're ashamed of yourself. <laughs> hope you're I, hope, I hope his mum's heard that, and I hope his mum knows it's about him, and I hope his mum told him off real good. Send that fucking scarf back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yours. Like, it's not your property to keep. about how famous Lizzo is. She literally came from like nothing. Nothing. Rumours is just a work of art. Yeah. It is a masterpiece. Our music is so joyful and it makes people feel like so confident mm -hmm. and like just everything that she stands for is amazing. She gets shit all the time that like is just so unnecessary. Like just living our life without like taking into considera consideration what other people think. And like that's really offensive to some people for some reason. We just need to stop expecting women to behave how we want them to like yeah. especially black women society expects people to fit into boxes and like lizzo doesn't in rumors she's just like 
fuck you. Mm. Like, I can do what I want. Well, the room is not true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like we are not gonna die happy until we see our lives. No, absolutely <laughs> not. So, Zuzu put an album out and it's been a long time coming. To be able to watch that from the beginning has been like really, really special. And Zuzu was like, like probably one of the biggest in inspirations for us, like even being a band in the first place. She's been around and working for so many years, yeah. like so many years. And I feel like it's finally like really paying off for her. I feel like our songs have gotten more personal, yeah. definitely. Like I think before maybe it was like slightly more commercial like not in a bad way at all like i love like everything she's ever put out um but our songs like on this album in particular feel very personal like, sue's got a very um particular following and i feel like it's split up into different categories like it's like lads who have seen her supporting yeah. the cortinas and jerry cinnamon yeah <laughs> which is like so cool um and also like us, uh, yeah, us. <laughs> And like a very particular crowd who like just adore her for like who she is. Yeah. Um I think even if you like don't particularly like our music or something or, or anything, like our presence online is just like really just a positive Yeah, space. very positive. That's what it is. Like she's very endearing, very positive, very like supportive of like everyone. everyone. We're like friends now, which is like really weird. Yeah. Like if you told <laughs> us that like three years ago that we were gonna be friends with Zuzu, we would be like, No, we're not. <laughs> No, we're not. Not up this. That is the end of our video. <laughs> We've talked for 3,000 years. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know what you're listening to because we would love to know. We'd love to like listen to some new stuff. Thanks so much for supporting us and for clicking on the video and for like watching for this long it means the whole entire world if you didn't know we released a single on the 25th of november called let's get married yeah, we did. and we'll link it down below with like the rest of our music and everything and if you could listen to it it would mean the whole entire world it's really scary putting new music out um so let us know what you think of let's get married and hope you um, love it yeah love you bye bye